It's a new product video for the 6 11183 Lionel Railroader Club exclusive Lincoln Funeral Train. This set is designed to operate on 031 and larger diameter curves. Out of the box, you will receive the instruction manual, two brass flags that go on the pilot of the locomotive, the wrench for taking off the side rod screws to install the two replacement traction tires. In addition to the locomotive, the tender, and the funeral car, you also receive this uh, wooden plaque or display stand rather to display the locomotive and funeral car on. This set features a unidirectional control meaning that there's a switch under the right side toolbox hatch cover on the tender that allows you to select between forward, off, and reverse. The locomotive will only run in one direction at one time meaning if you hit the direction button it will continue to run in forward until you manually throw the switch to reverse at which point it will run backwards. There is also a two car add-on which we'll show you here shortly under 6-25631 which features two additional passenger cars to go with this set. As we mentioned earlier this is the 6-25631 Lincoln Funeral Train add-on 2-pack. It features two coaches. Out of the package you will receive the instruction manual for coupling the cars and uncoupling the cars. This set also features this handsome display base that matches the display base that comes with the locomotive and funeral car in the 6-11183 set. All together, it makes a very handsome set. These cars, again, are only available exclusively through the Lionel Railroader Club and are not available at dealers. I just want to give you a quick view of the overall train with the two-car set of add-ons and the locomotive and funeral car together. It's important to note that the tender couples to the locomotive with a pin and link system and that the tender couples to the funeral car with a similar pin and link system. The other two cars couple with uh, drawbars. There's a male and reciprocating female drawbar on each car to couple the add-on cars to the original set. I'd like to give you some up-close shots of the locomotive so that you can see all of the fine details that were hand assembled on this model. The engine does feature a front LED headlight. This is the fireman's side of the locomotive. Again, very finely detailed. We do encourage you to be extremely careful when handling this locomotive and only pick it up by reaching in and grabbing onto the drivers to lift the locomotive up. Uh, the details are very fine, very close to a scale reproduction, if not dead on show you the tender it does feature a real wood load if you as we mentioned earlier underneath the right side toolbox cover on the tender is the switch in the forwardmost position FW the locomotive will run forward in the off position, it will not run at all. And in the RW position, it's in reverse. We want to point out that there is a five pin connector here between the locomotive and tender that must be plugged in for the engine to operate under track power. Here's another shot of that connector coming out of the back of the locomotive. Uh, you must plug in this connector to the reciprocating plug on the tender before you attempt to put the tender on the locomotive draw pin. The small brass flags that come in the box with the locomotive and funeral car mount into the holes on the pilot. I'll show you here. 
The flags do sit on the outside of the steam chest. They do not line up parallel with the boiler. They sit on the outside edge of the steam chest. Uh, they're very fragile. We do encourage you to be very careful when handling these details. If you're going to run this locomotive, we would encourage you to leave the flags in the package and only put them on when the locomotive is on display. Due to the fine details of this locomotive, we're going to go ahead and hold on to it while we show you what to lubricate before you operate the locomotive. We have our oil applicator with a needle tip. We want to place just a small dab of oil on each axle on the pilot truck where the axle goes through the cast pilot truck casting. Work that in. Also want to place a small dab of oil on the locomotive driver axle where it goes through the frame and also on the rearmost axle where it goes through the frame. Just a small dab of oil is all that's needed. It's also a good idea to put a dab of oil on the collector roller axle. Prevent that from squeaking on us when the train's moving. To lubricate the tender, we want to do something very similar. We're going to take our oil applicator, put a small dab of oil on the axle for the collector. Prevent those from squeaking. We also want to take the oil and put a small dab of oil on the end of each axle on the tender where it goes into the side frame. We want to make sure we do that for all eight axle bearing combinations on this tender. And that'll be all we need to do for the locomotive and tender. This is the funeral car. You'll notice that it has four four-wheel trucks on it. Before we get this on the track and running, we want to make sure that we put a small dab of oil on the end of each axle where it goes into the side frame. We want to do this to each axle end where it inserts into the side frame. This will prevent the wheels from squealing going down the track. We want to make sure that we repeat the same steps in lubricating these cars on our two car add-on. And that would be to put a small dab of oil on the axles where they insert the bearings on the truck side frames. You want to make sure that you do it to all four sides on both trucks. If you look closely at the coupling on the back of the tender, you'll notice that it's merely a pin that's soldered in place. That pin inserts into the female drawbar on the front of the actual funeral car. It is not possible to put either of the add-on coaches coupled to the tender. The funeral car must be coupled to the tender first. And that's done by taking that pin and sliding it through the drawbar. Once you have the funeral car on the track, you can add the other two coaches. These couple with the simple drawbar, similar to the uh, drawbar found on a steam locomotive and tender. The drawbar simply drops right into the reciprocating female drawbar of the car behind it. And the connection looks like such. The Lionel Railroader Club exclusive Lincoln Funeral Train Set and Two Car Add-on Set. Available now from the Lionel Railroader Club. This is an exclusive Railroader Club purchase only and not available at dealers while supplies last.